off his meds and suffering from schizophrenia. Pasco County deputies reveal new details about a gunman accused of firing bullets on officers near a school. And we now have that new body camera video you see behind me there. This is a dramatic exchange of gunfire. News Channel 8's Corey Davis joining us live in the Gulf Highlands subdivision of Port Ritchie with more on this story. Corey. Hey, Keith, good evening to you. Let me show you exactly where this all happened here at the intersection of Constance Drive and Gulf Highlands Drive. This is in the middle of a neighborhood, and it's really hard to believe that no bystander or deputy got hurt. He's shooting. Stand by. Pasco County deputies arriving seconds before a gunfight in the Gulf Highlands subdivision. Hands, bro! Put your hands up! Here's another view of that shootout last Thursday. You see him? You see him? We're told Brian Desario had just killed his mother's friend in the garage in a jealous rage over an imaginary girlfriend, then pointed his gun at Gulf Highlands Elementary just two blocks away. Get the shit out of my truck! We need 10 3, he's shooting at a standby. Deputies tell us DeSerio had schizophrenia, but stopped seeing a doctor and wasn't taking his medication. Well, we know he owned a 22 caliber long gun that he sold off, and he had an AR 15, which he purchased in 2015. Deputies aren't sure how DeSerio got the weapons, but what they do know is that his rifle was aimed at them. Our profession is to protect others, and there was no cover. There was nothing. You know, even that shield, no matter what, it's hard to get the shield. The sheriff tells us DeSerio ran into the house and committed suicide. A situation the sheriff believes shines an unfortunate light on mental illness. And right now the sheriff tells us they are working with the ATF to learn exactly where uh, DeSerio got those weapons. Back to you. Boy, Corey, we knew this was bad, but that video right there tells a, a whole different story. Remarkable. Corey Davis, live in Port Ritchie. Thank you.